but you built in a bad place. You built in a wetland. And when I, I asked Kamavale, because he was born in the rocks, he does not know how wetlands look like. He gave me a long story that this was a quarry of clay by Kajansi tire, tire makers. Yeah, but that's proof. If it is a, a, a clay of a quarry of clay, that proves it was a swamp. Because clay is always in swamps. I think in, 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 the, in the second schools we would say QED, proven without question. But, but you don't have to worry. We have told people who have built uh, structures like this and, and factories, we give, them, we give them 10 years to migrate out of the wetlands. at their own cost. But I don't know how economic it is. For instance, the amount of money you used to fill up, because this, this was definitely a swamp. How much money did you use to, what, what, what do they call it, back feeding or what? To fill, to, to bring soil and put it in the swamp to, to create farm ground. It must have been quite a bit of money. Who, 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 who is the builder here? Who, who built it? The other issue is what Kamavari talked about. And you know what Kamavari means? Kamavari means somebody who was born in the rocks, in the rock outcrops. I don't know where. Which Mavari were you born in Kamavari? What are these? Come and tell me on the microphone. Your Excellency, I got that name from my father, who oh. was born in a, a place which has many rocks in Kazo district. Kazo. Thank you. Yes. Kazo, where Kazo? Uh, I don't know the place very well, but it is, I have been there, it, it has rocks, uh, and that's where he was born. Your Excellency. Which, which rocks are these? <laughs> uh -huh. Your Excellency, the rocks are in lead. Mosaic Kazland in Kazatown Council. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hear that this is a man born in the rocks. Well, he told you the, the struggles we're having with the stealing of drugs. Because you, you call this national medical stores. I think you should change it and call it Great Lakes Medical Stores. Because the drugs here are shared by the whole of the Great Lakes. I hear that when you go to Congo, just over the border, you'll find these drugs there. And you'll find them in South Sudan. So that's where all of you, partners and friends, need to work together to solve the other issue of the last mile, last mile of the drug from here to the district, from the district to the health center, and what happened thereafter, because this is where the big problem is. I know it is pan you know, you know I'm a big Pan-Africanist, but I don't think stealing drugs on a Pan-African scale is a good idea. 
So we must sort of this. I, I, we must sort of this. Of course, our neighbors need those drugs. The people in Congo, the people in South Sudan, they need them. But we need a better system rather than planning for Uganda health centers. And then the, the drugs end up in the whole of Central Africa. That means nobody will get served. The Ugandans will not, will not be served enough, but even the neighbors will not get enough. So we need really to, to analyze the whole, this whole issue of drug supply during this time of lawlessness, lawlessness in, in this whole area. Secure the ones of Uganda, make sure they, are, they go where they are supposed to go, and find a solution for the other, the, the, the other areas which, which, which have got security problems now. In South Sudan, in Congo, in, uh, I don't know whether Somalia is part of, of this effort, whether they are, they are members here. The Central African Republic, all those countries, they are sharing. So I, I, that's definitely for Congo, because I, I have sent my people there. If you just go over the border, you will find the, 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 the drugs in the, in the health stores in, in Congo. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda.